I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, but um, you all know why we're here. Um, trying to determine the champion. This blank expression that I had on my face for like the first 10 or 15 seconds of the video is like trying to figure out a champion. And it has been a long, long journey into deciding what in the world does it mean to be a champion in college football. 150 years, 150 mythical national champions. And you can say whatever you want to say. But the NCAA has no, has literally no standing in determining a champion. Power 5 has done what they needed to do to keep the smaller group of five conferences away from, you know, becoming champions in college football. The NCAA can't do anything about it. They have their own system of things going on with the other divisions. And it works out well um, for the other divisions. But four this year was the right number. Four teams that either have no losses or only one. And it all worked out this year. It all worked out well. Unlike in a couple, unlike in a couple of years past where it has not. The first year being one of the prime examples of Ohio State getting in over Baylor, TCU, or a couple of years ago when Alabama got into the playoff without a conference championship at Ohio State with only one loss, stayed home. But this year, everything worked out right. This year, it, it all comes down to these four. This year, it, it looks like there could be an undisputed champion this time around. I guarantee you. Um, but the only thing that matters now is playing the games. And well, we got two barn burners for you. First off, it's first playoff semifinal. Peach Bowl. Inside Mercedes Benz Superdome in Atlanta. Featuring the number one ranked best offense of the nation. Highest trophy winning Joe Burrow and his LSU Tigers, coached by Ed Ogeron. 13 0. SEC champions. Taking on the number four, Lincoln. My Riley led Jalen Hurts at quarterback having Big 12 champion, the Oklahoma Sooners. Now, people are going to say, well, LSU is going to blow out Oklahoma, blow them out the water. But I say no. I say no, 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 no. It is going to be a close game, I guarantee. Both these defenses are a little bit suspect. Yeah, LSU proved their might the last couple of weeks playing really good defense against Texas A&M and Georgia. But Texas A&M and Georgia, as we all know, were not even close to being the best. Georgia especially. Uh, this should be a good test. One of the final tests, if LSU can make it to the championship, that, that they have to overcome. In Oklahoma, hey, they're just trying to prove that hey, we aren't the underdog. We aren't we aren't the little we aren't the little kid at the table this time around. And Lincoln Riley's trying to win himself a championship. Jalen Hurts trying to beat LSU again to win a championship, to get closer to winning a championship at the very least. But it should be fun. Should be fun. There's going to be a lot of points in this game. Let's just say this right now. Um, in this game, it takes place at 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 p.m. Central, only on ESPN, of course. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be fun. I'll say it nine times. I'll say it ten times. But, you know, this game is going to mean Everything to both these teams. And then the second semifinal at State Farm Stadium. Am I reading it right? In Glendale, Arizona for the Fiesta Bowl. 
number two, 13 and 0, led by the transfer quarterback Justin Fields, Ryan Day as the head coach with with also J.K. Dobbins and Chase Young at the helm. The number two Ohio State Buckeyes, Big Ten champions, by the way, um, taking on the number three Dabo Sweeney coached Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, strong defense, having Clemson Tigers, number three in the nation, ACC champions. Now, it's been a while since Big Ten's been in the college football playoffs. It's been a while. Last time they were here, last time this conference had a representative, did not score a point. This is a rematch, actually. A rematch of a game from a long, long time ago when Ohio State didn't even score a point in that game either. So the Big Ten has not scored a point in the college football playoff in a while since Ezekiel Elliott ran his way with Cardale Jones backing him up to a title all the way back in the first year of the college football playoff. This is year six of the college football playoff, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> but Clemson, they're looking to prove something. Ohio State, they're looking to prove more. They want to prove they are the best team in the country. They have flip-flopped back and forth between them and LSU. It's number one all year long. This could mean something if they beat Clemson. A dominant Clemson team that has proven to feast on inferior opponents. Don't get me wrong. You know, the ACC is a it's a conference. It exists, but it has been Clemson's punching bag for five or six years now. It has been that way for five years. Clemson's been in the playoffs five straight years. Trevor Lawrence and company, you're looking to prove that, hey, we don't feast on just cupcakes. We feast on the big guys, too. We, we beat them up. And we 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 don't we don't take no prisoners we don't take no no strangers no questions asked. Um, and this game should be great as well. You know, dominant defenses in both these teams, offenses that can score at will, unlike unlike anything we've ever seen. Man, both these games are gonna be great, and these take place. On the 7th of the 28th. So, <laughs> this is going to be fun, man. But, as it stands, these are not official. These are not even supposed to be official. These aren't official games as selected by the NCAA. These aren't, these aren't games that are like, well, this is how we determine champion here in the NCAA. In the biased level of Division One football at the FBS level. So I've got one more game to preview then. We'll talk about it very, very soon. Uh, once these other, once all these bowl games are played and everything like that, we'll preview it. We'll preview it, get, get you ready for it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But for now, enjoy college football playoff on December 28th and the national championship January 13th. It's a disgusting Monday night game, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, both these games are going to be great. I guarantee you they're going to be fun as hell. There's going to be some scoring. There's going to be some good defense. There's just going to be a lot of things going, lots of storylines going into these two games. What in the world could we see in the championship? Who could we see? It just depends on these four teams. We got an infinite amount of combinations here. So, we'll see you guys after New Year's Day, as far as college football goes. Um, so, after New Year's Day, we'll talk about all these big-time bowl games, and we'll talk about the national championship then so at the same time we'll be talking about another national championship so 
see you guys there on December what the second or the third. Yeah, so that'll be the that'll be one of the first videos in the year. So y'all take care. We'll see you guys then. You know, enjoy the playoffs. Enjoy the other bowl games. Peace.